What's going on guys? It's Patrick with Light Source Engraving and today I have a fun video. We are going to give out the first ever Afterburner Award. This award is going to go to someone who has made great progress in the last 12 months in the world of laser engraving, increasing their knowledge and their database significantly. But before we get to that point, we need to create the file first. So I want to show you a quick way to make a template, or at least a guide, for this shape in Lightburn. We're going to use the pen tool, create a guide for our shape, out, uh, lay out our graphics, and then burn this glass with the UV laser. And uh, it's going to turn out great and look awesome. And I hope this person is pleasantly surprised and is happy with getting this award as I am being able to hand it out for the first time. So let's just jump right into light burn and start creating our graphic. I'm going to start with a picture, a picture of this award imported into light burn so we can use that to make our template. Okay, we are now in light burn. First thing I want to do is select the template layer and make sure that that template layer is set to output on top of our image layer so it's down below so it's where it needs to be I'm just going to grab our pen tool and the way this pen tool works is if you click you'll draw straight lines so if I want straight line straight line straight line straight line straight line you can see that that's what we get it's just control Z and back out of that now I want to change it to orange and then we're going to draw and that's a little easier to see. So when we click and hold down our left mouse button, we can actually make curves. So if you click and drag with a little practice, you can make some pretty good curves. And this doesn't need to be exact, it just needs to be good enough that we know where to place our graphics without going outside of our bounds. Now, as you saw, when you click and drag to reposition your workspace, you lose where your pen left off. I'm going to start again here. Head down here. And these can be straight. This we can make a curve. And if you're used to Adobe Illustrator and being able to move around while you're making your drawing, it's kind of difficult. But this is just a template, not to be exact. And we can go up here. Then hit Escape, and that releases it. So there's a template for us. So now we can just, uh, oops my selection tool. Let's just move this out of the way and then we can start building our graphic. Now the first thing I want to do is add in the logo. Alright so we have our burn to learn logo. Now we just need to resize that. We'll figure out what size we're going to make it. Ultimately in just a little bit after we add some text. So this award is going to say after Afterburner, and there is a font that I wanted to use. There is a font I want to use. It's called Evil Empire. I just think it looks cool, so that's what I want to use. I make this bigger. We're going to say Afterburner, and then it's going to say Award. But I want a different font, and that's just going to be Arial. Probably Arial Black. And I'm going to make that smaller. Let's say that's where that's going, and that's where this is going. And then we're going to have some text. It says, For your dedication to learning. 
And then I'm going to make this fancy and make it a script font. I go with that one. Say, for your dedication to learning. I'm going to make that an 8. I want it smaller. And then we just need to add the year. 2023. I'm going to align these at the top to make sure they're both aligned. I'll just use that button, which is the align along top edges. Then we need the name. Now, it's a little too early to put the name on it. But this is basically what we want. And for this to show up nice, we need to engrave the back of the glass. So what we want to do at this point is mirror it. And then if we're happy with this layout, we can begin our burn on the glass. Just that simple. All right, now let's get this thing over to the UV laser and get it burning. My UV laser is a five watt UV laser. It is manufactured by Hotien Laser. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check them out. They're great to deal with. Uh, just look for Pascal, Pascal Lou on Facebook. He's an awesome dude and he'll get you set up with the laser that will fit your needs. But again, that's Hotien Laser, H-A-O-T-I-A-N. And now let's get to burning. Uh, a couple of you are going to notice that during that fast forward of the burning, there was an error and light burn, for some reason, shut off. Um, I think it, the error was my computer and it wasn't light burn. However, I did use the preview and then start job on laser from here functionality in light burn to restart the burn at approximately the same point where it left off. And I got it matched up pretty well. Then I just had to go back and finish up one last little piece. But it turned out great. I'm going to show it to you. But first, I'm going to show you the settings I used on the glass on this with this 5 watt UV laser. So it was running a speed of 200, a frequency of 40, and a Q pulse of 1 with a 0 0.025 line distance zero degree scan angle and bi-directional fill and it was filling all shapes at once so those are the settings that i used 5 watt uv 150 millimeter lens now here is the afterburner award presented to bz rad for the year 2023 Great job, man. You've made so much progress. It has been an absolute delight watching you progress in the laser world. Keep up the great work. And to everybody else, keep up the great work. And maybe you can be the afterburn for 2024. But that is all I have for today. I just really uh, am excited to get this shipped out to BZ Rad. I think he's going to love it. And that's it for today, folks. Thank you for hanging out and watching this video. It's been a real pleasure being able to present this to BZ Rad. Please check out my Patreon or become a channel member. That would be awesome and help support the channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
because I know you want to be notified every time I post a video, right? And most importantly, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.